With its cathedrals, Armagh is the ecclesiastical capital of Ireland. But long before the arrival of Christianity, it was a place of huge religious importance, not least here at Navan Fort, where fresh discoveries have been made. Archaeologists believe they find evidence of Iron Age temples and religious complexes, all without digging a hole. The two methods that we've used are magnetic radiometry and electrical resistance survey. Both of those essentially measure, on the one hand, the magnetic properties of the soil, and on the other, the way in which the soil conducts electrical resistance. And that allows us to, to map the, the buried archaeology, for which there, there is no above ground trace, and to, to be very precise about the nature and, uh, and, and interrelationships of those monuments. Does it give you a good indication of what they look like? It will give us a good indication of the, the footprint of these buildings and the, the scale of the structures and I suppose that's one of the reasons that it seems so significant because these are truly monumental structures. They are absolutely huge by the standards of the, the age, so probably some of the, the largest structures ever built in the first millennium BC and in the first millennium AD. Knowing what's there is one thing, but bringing it to life for visitors is a much tougher challenge. On a site like this, all of your senses get a, a bit of excitement here. You can see things, smell things, touch things. But your imagination has to work quite hard to see some of these things that have been discovered under the ground to try to put those into context. But what we would really like to see at a place like this is more of the stories to come alive, that they can be accessed either by the spoken word or reading or imagery. The race is now on to secure funding that would allow for significant excavation. That process could take time. But with thousands of years of activity at the site, there's no rush. Cormac Campbell, BBC Newsline, Navin Fort.